and welcome back to uh, today's episode. Holy shit, we are... Fuck, where are we anymore? I lost track, no, I'm kidding. I like... believe this is Route 24. Is it 25? It's one of them, yeah. It's, it's like 24 and 25 are together. Is it Nugget Road 24? I think so, yeah. Or I could be wrong, you're probably right. Oh god. What? <laughs> yeah, that one's alright, it's just weird looking. No, we have a... Actually, I should have just stayed in because I was... Oh, no, yeah, you got cry chop. That's what... Oh, Jesus. That was a crit hit, though, too. Still. All right. I don't know if that has any fighting moves. That's my worry. What? We'll find out. I don't know if this cry chop is normal. Yeah. I hope we don't have any fighting type moves. I said that, but I have forgotten. Maybe because my mind rejects that notion, just like Charizard can't learn Fly and neither can uh, Scyther. Yeah. In the early ones, at least. Except for now, who flies you around when you, uh, in Sun and Moon? Exactly. Pokemon can't even catch an Alola. Oh, you can't... Oh, you got a Charmander into your deck, and a Charizard, that's amazing. You know, these Pokemon are not native to Alola, you can't find them anywhere. It's like Rotom. Yeah. You can't get a Rotom in your decks, but you've got a Rotom in your decks. Exactly. There we go. See, I, I was waiting for a Geodude to pop up. That's what I thought he... Because I thought he led with an Onyx and then sent to a Geodude. Must be some other Hunter I'm... Or, uh... Hacker I'm thinking of. Yeah, the all-powerful Vine Whip. Holy fuck. Well, it's four times effective, but... I know, but still. I think... I think Bellsbroke gets raised relief. I should. I think this guy. I think this is the guy who's got the uh, the rock types. I know one of these you guys has it? a Nidoran. Yeah, this is the Onyx. This is gonna be some juicy experience. Just look at his design. It looks like a woman's earring. A little bit, actually. Yeah. Or a horseshoe. Such a disappointing Pokemon. Yep. It's, it's got great attack. It's got a pretty damn good speed for a rock type. Mm -hmm. All the other stats are complete trash. Like, its attack is like base 35. It's bad. Does Pichu actually have better attack than that? No, uh, before Wishy Washy, I think Pichu was statistically. Nope, nope, Pichu was slightly better than Sunkern. Sunkern was statistically the worst Pokemon, but then Wishy Washy solo form took over. Yep. Well, then isn't uh, schooling form actually really good? Oh, yeah, schooling form, it's statistically, uh, it's better than most legends. Yep. It's at like base 630. What, what is it that causes it to stop schooling? Uh, when it's below 25% health. Okay. Or if it's a totem. Oh, even the totem goes down, yeah. I had such a hard time with that one just because I had nothing good against it. Pikachu. That's it's the one game that I didn't have a Pikachu. That's funny because, well, he is, uh, Pichu is the rare find in yeah. the uh, first area. And I just, then in the second area. I just thought, like, I used Pikachu so often. Mm -hmm. I just thought, yeah, let's use something else. Pajirisu. Although, uh, I am going to be using the, uh, the Hoenn hat for my playthrough, most likely. Because mm. I think it's level 6. Mm -hmm. I'm just EV training it right now, and then it'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she'll have a Nidoran. Hey, aren't you getting a Lily statue? Yes, I'm getting uh, that next month. It's coming in. I'll probably think, just do a I little video like, showing I hope her. next time we go to a convention, we find someone... Who is? Oh, this is got slowpoke shit. I hope we find someone who's wearing like a um, black uh, bodysuit. Yeah. Inside of a wearing a bag as a costume and unzip slightly, and inside they have their head dressed up like Cosmog. <laughs> that'd be perfect. I think that'd be hilarious. If I'm right, this guy has confusion and water gun. If they find anyone dressed up as Lily, they have to go behind yeah. her and go get in the bag, Lily. <laughs> Oh so my, stop with the confusion. Holy. So I know all the in the bag memes and all that, you know, have gotten kind of boring to a lot of people. Yeah. But they still crack me up and make me I smile. like them. I think they're funny. 
I like the one where it's uh, Lily singing, you know, about a magical place. <laughs> and it's like, the end, it's like, in the bag. Get in the bag, Nebby. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, yeah, she should have a knitter in. I find it funny how other areas, legendaries or something that are never seen, so, so rare, you know? Yeah. And the, uh, like the protectors of the realms are so rare, you know, only one person in like a hundred years has seen it. And then you have the Tapus, and it's like, oh yeah, that's uh, that's Tapu Coco. Yeah. There's Tapu Bulu. Yeah, he kind of hangs out occasionally. Yeah, they're just good friends. I know they're not officially recognized as legendaries, right? I believe they're technically not listed as them. Mm-hmm. But I personally see them as legendaries. If you can't breed it and it's not a ditto. Well, the only thing that's really keeping them away from being a legendary mm -hmm. is the fact that their base stat total is 570. Mm -hmm. Whereas things like um, Moltres, Articuno, and all that, they're at a 580. Really, 10 stat points is why people won't consider them a legendary? That's the big one. As well, uh, there was one where they said... Uh, one of the terms that said, oh yeah, you uh, can't use legendaries, mm -hmm. but you could use the tapus. Mm -hmm. But what everyone didn't realize was, hey, guess what? They've had those same rules in the previous games, but you could still use the legendary dogs. Mm -hmm. When it says no legendaries, 90% of the time it means nothing like Reshiram, Mewtwo, stuff like that. Yeah. Mythicals. So their argument of saying that, oh yeah, it said no legendaries and it could be used, is extremely flawed and 100% does not confirm anything. Mm -hmm. If anything, it would kind of help reaffirm that, hey, yeah, they might actually be legendaries because they do fall into that, uh, the weaker legendary category. Yeah. But again, nothing's confirmed until Nintendo or uh, Game Freak says so. If Game Freak says that they are uh, uh, legendaries, then they're legendaries. Simple as that. And honestly, they could tell you that Pikachu's a legendary, and you can't actually argue because yeah. they make the rules. Yeah, if they say Pikachu's a legendary, it's, you can't argue it. In uh, the technical fan terms, no, Pikachu is not. But then you look at uh, Fion. Fion's technically a legendary, even though it doesn't match the regular things. Same with Manaphy. Manaphy can breed. Jeez. Manaphy can breed, mm -hmm. but it's still legendary. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Eh, it gets just confusing as all hell. Let's see, this guy, I feel like this guy's also got him a chop. Let's put Minette out there and I'll heal up. And then the one guy up here, I believe, has a Charmander, or not Charmander, a Sandshrew. You played some. I think I played some Pokemon Stadium with you, right? Uh, yeah, we we played a little bit just off to the side. Okay. Um, have you? Do you remember the mini game in Pokemon Stadium One where you're Sandshrews and you're trying to dig to the uh to underground water source first? I think yeah yeah I remember that one. Yeah, that's all I can think of as a Sandshrew. I remember after watching that, I would go help in my grandpa's garden mm -hmm. as a kid, and I would actually try digging like that because oh they have God. the big whipping arm motions like. Yeah. And I would dig like that, like a complete moron. <laughs> the things you do when you're a kid, eh? Yeah, exactly. Mm, I hate when moves miss in this, because every move has a chance to miss. I think even Swift has a chance to miss. I could be wrong on that. But the way the stat calculations are done, mm -hmm. there's always a chance for Swift to miss. Mm. So this one may have other games, Swift always hit. It's supposed to. Uh, in the other games, they made it bypass all of the uh, the calculations on how to hit. Except for what? Not on the screen? Uh, no. Except for if underground? Uh, well, if it's in an invulnerable state, I believe it still hits. Mm -hmm. uh, just in the Gen 1 games, the way that the, uh, the hit calculation was done, mm -hmm. it gave every move a chance to miss. Okay. Uh, even moves with 100 accuracy could still miss. That's why Thundershock, I don't think it's missed yet, but there, it's a, an extremely low chance. Okay. 
It's like a critical fail system. Exactly, yeah. Whereas in uh, the newer games, like Gen 2 and on, they made it where if it has... Uh, in, if it always hits, they made it where it just bypasses the entire system. Mm. Yeah. Let's see, I think Starmie is level 24. Is it? I think so. Let's put Laurel, Laurel up front here. See, I, he's I, got a girlfriend. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Like, so, that makes you a cool guy. But it also makes me a very lean guy. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little trick on this guy. Like, when I was younger, I didn't realize it. Oh, yeah, I got a rap. S no! Shit, son. Mm hmm. See, and I can tell when rap is done because mm -hmm. it'll actually let me pick a new move. See that? Look at that. See, so yeah, see, so now rap is technically over. Yep. So it's going to mid hack because you can't touch me really. But yeah, that's that how. That was bullshit. That's how it works. So if you're faster than your target, they can never get out, even on the last turn, because you could just use rap and then it'll just restart the whole cycle. Oh my god, this was before held items, right? Yep. I find it funny, because in the held items, you know what my favorite held item is, right? Uh, Quick Claw? Yeah. There it is. And it's not overly, it's not the most oh. effective item. And there's the wrap on me now. By far. But, it has won me some very funny battles, yeah. and really pissed some people off. Even when I lose, that thing can be hilarious. Yeah. What was that, I had to go off four times in a row against you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Quick Claw's bullshit. It Along is. with Astonish. What was it? With uh, Ray Josh, I had Quick Claw? Quick yeah. Quick Claw? I got Quick Claw. Sorry. Astonish? Into Astonish? Into Astonish? Into Astonish? In one of our Wonder Battles? Yeah, I remember that. For us, we do Wonder Battles, and what we do is we Wonder Trade off uh, a bunch of Pokemon, and what we get is what we have to work with. TM19. And sometimes we do Sync Wonder Battles, and sometimes we do Unsync, so. And the NSYNC, if you got a really shitty Mon at level 1 or a good Mon at level 1, so toss you were stuck with that level 1. Yeah, exactly. So we typically do sync though. But there was like a really bad matchup for me that should have been his win, no matter how you looked at. And Astonish like triggered just four times in a row and got me the win. Yeah. It was not a good match at all. Oh, shit. Then we had one of our friends, and while we are doing the Wonder Battle... He fucking... Was that you or was that Josh who got the freaking shiny wall? Of that was Josh. He got shiny... I believe it was the shiny Landorus on uh, Wonder Trade. Yeah. While we're doing our uh, thing, our battles. And it's like, freaking hell, man. We all hate you now. I think Go we on. let him use it for one battle after. But I think we made it where he had to do another trade. Yeah. Well, because a lot of times we just put our the Pokemon we get back into the... Back out into the uh, Wonder Trade once we're done the rounds. Yeah. But, you know, that wasn't the, the standard rule, and he's like, I'm keeping it. I'm like, we're all like, no, you can keep it. Yeah. He's like, can I use it for one more round? And it's like, yes, this one time we'll <laughs> let you because you are so happy. Yeah. Hey, it's true. Yeah. I think Laurel should be able to take it out. I think I should outspeed. Let's do it. There we go. Shit. See, if that were Razor Leaf, we'd You know, you see Laurel, and all I can think of is Lord yeah. from South Park. Oh, God. Have, you've seen that, those posters, right? I think so. I think Charmander, It's actually too. Randy. <laughs> so it's Randy with long hair. Oh, God. He's Lord. And it turns out what happened is um, Randy uh, didn't like the men's washroom. You know, he claimed trans, you know, so he could use the women's washroom. Yeah. And then, you know, he sent the son in his washroom, and he processed it afterwards. I forget the whole thing, and he became a, I think he became a sensation. Hmm. And there's a really funny moment in the one episode where he goes to his daughter's room, and his daughter's like, you don't understand me, Dad, you know? You don't understand me like Lord does. And there's a <laughs> poster of him in his Lord costume on her wall. Oh, my God. Let's 
Let's see how much this does. I might not have to heal. No, I'm going to have to heal. Uh, this was... You know what gen this was. This was a gen when um, attacks that got you back uh, health sucked ass. Yeah. Well, Mega Drain was at 40. Then when they introduced Giga Drain, that one was still only at 60. Well, look at fucking Leech Seed. What? Leech Seed was broken when combined with uh, Toxic. Mm, but Leech Seed in the original? That did, like, nothing. You could type advantage it, and you wouldn't get... You'd get, like, one health back. Yeah, I never really used Leech Seed at all. Uh, mm -hmm. That'd be useful, actually, in the, uh, the Elite Four if uh, Oddish gets it. Mm -hmm. Actually, Bulbasaur does, but I don't think it gets absorbed. I think Mega Drain's a TM, though. I might be mixing up. I just remember playing one, using one of them a lot in Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Because whatever Pokemon I had, I always had, I'm like, you know, oh, it sucks ass, sucks ass, and I kept trying it. There was like, there has to be some way to make it work. Yeah. And no, it was like, every turn I got like one health back. <laughs> For, and it does two damage. Yeah. And now we got, th now we got all these moves that it's like, oh yeah, it heals you a ton and does a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Like Oblivion Wing, I think that's the best healing move in the game so far. That deals damage. Because it is... I, I don't really see Oblivion Wing much because, well, I just, you know, you run into it a lot if you don't go online. Yeah, well, yeah, it's only on the uh, Evolve tool. Mm -hmm. And like I was about to say, you know, the only time I really see it is in the card game on the Evolve tool. Yeah. And in the card game, it works differently. Yeah, like in the, uh, the video game, I believe it's 80 power. Mm -hmm. Flying type move, which is kind of cool. I, I was honestly expecting it to be dark type, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And it heals you for three quarters of damage to deal, which is insane. Because normally, uh, like, Absorb and all those other... All the mm -hmm. restoring moves up to Gen 5, I believe, mm -hmm. only healed uh, half of what you deal. Mm -hmm. And then the ones they introduced in Gen 6, so it was Oblivion Wing, uh, Parabolic Charge, and Draining Kiss, all heal you for three quarters of the damage to deal. That's kind of an off to a really off-topic question. Yeah. But would it be fun and would it be viable to do a barehanded run of Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. I believe someone's actually done that already. Really? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, we got Bill here. Cypher? Yeah. Do you even know who that is? No. Gravity Falls. Oh, I never watched Gravity Falls. Neither have I, actually. You just hear a lot about them. Yeah, they got a pretty interesting fan base, that's for sure. Well, they're also friends with the guy, with one of the guys from Rick and Morty. Yeah. So they put Easter eggs in each other's stuff. Oh yeah, I love this part with Pikachu. Pikachu's like, "What? Where'd he go?" And then you go here. I think I actually played this game before. I saw the episode of the anime where they go to Bill's place. Yeah. So I was kind of disappointed to find out Bill was just wearing a costume in the anime. Oh yeah. Where it's Pikachu's like, like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, by the hub bill comes out as just a very generic uh, character sprite. Yeah, it's like n nothing special. Then in the anime, though, he's a full out sir, and like. I find it funny when there's the giant Pokemon that they see, but like, that really wasn't dealt with ever again, was it? Yeah, I don't think so ever. And it's obviously a giant Dragonite. Yeah. But Bill can't figure out the Dragonite. So what you do is after you rescue Bill, you just leave and go back in. Then uh, you can look at his PC and you can register all the evolutions here. Oh, so that's how you do it. Yeah. So regardless, you at least have them in your decks. I think all their sprites are pretty awesome. Hey, are you going to put an Eevee on your team in the end? I'm definitely going to be getting the Eevee. I don't know about putting on the team, though. Like, I would love to. Yeah. I think that's like a lot of people's favorite moment in this game. And like the Gen 1 games is getting your Eevee. Yeah. Well, I love Eevee. Even if he stays as an Eevee forever. Yeah. Oh my god, this is the playthrough of the youngest Eevee brother. <laughs> like, do you remember the Eevee brothers? Where, the episode where they're all trying to convince the youngest brother who's Eevee is an Eevee that they he should turn his Eevee, because it's before they had the, all the other versions too. Oh yeah. That he should tur turn his Eevee into whatever their Eevee turned into. <laughs> and there's one for Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon. Yeah. And in the end he decides... I just want my Eevee to stay as an Eevee. Yeah. Like, I guess that makes sense. You know, we are the Evolution Brothers. Yeah. 
So do you think they added in cousins or siblings, or they, or like when they found out about all the new evolutions, mm-hmm. do you think they ran up to their parents and be like, "You best get back into bed." <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, you two are gonna fuck some more, please. Yep. Anyways, I think this is a good time to call it. Uh, we're gonna be uh, venturing into uh, the gym here. Oh my god, it is yeah. so blue. I want to do a quick save there because don't want any progress to get lost. All right, so next uh, episode we will be back to uh, take out the gym, hopefully. Uh, I think we should be fine, I hope. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to worry about uh, any Psychic-type moves, but still, Starmie is strong. I could be wrong, Starmie might have confusion. Okay, though, but see you guys next time. Yeah, have yourselves a great day, and thanks for watching.